Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Today we're doing a Ark Survival Evolved Beginner's Guide. This guide is for somebody who's just picked up the game for the first time and wants to know everything about the basics and we're going to cover what skill points do, how to tame your first dinosaurs, what all the engrams are, and basic leveling from 1 to 25. Once you get to that point where you get to 25, you have a herbivore and a carnivore, you're pretty much set, you can go in any direction you want. But until that point, it's a bit of a berry picking simulator and you can die a lot and it's a little bit difficult getting started especially if you haven't got a teammate helping you out and you're just by yourself assuming that you've just bought the game you're going to be presented with four different maps the first being the island map now if it's your first time in the game i highly recommend doing the island map and there's a couple of reasons for playing on the island first of all you get the story if you're on the island you can pick up the dinosaur dossiers and learn a little bit about what's going on plus you can do all 10 caves get all 10 artifacts and defeat the boss and I'm doing something like that with a playthrough of my own the first map that we're going to go over is the center map now this was the first modded map to make it as a download it was available on all consoles eventually you are only going to get the base dinosaurs from the arc map as well because this was bought out before Scorched Earth, Aberration and Extinction. So that's why it's going to be less popular. The two more popular maps that you'd be probably, if you've got friends playing the game currently, they might be playing on either Ragnarok or the newest one, Val Guerrero. But uh, this basics guide that we're going to do, I'm playing on PC, it's going to cover Xbox and PlayStation because I'm not installing any mods during my playthrough. This is an overview of the center map and uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the others. After that we're going to pop into my video of getting to level 25 and the whole process took me about two and a half hours so just bear that in mind and if I'd have been on the island I could have opened an explorer note and got an XP buff as well so I could have done it even quicker. If you want to know about the settings that I'm using then I've got a separate video with all of the taming settings, all of the gathering settings that I'm using. That's done in a very detailed video. If you want to check that out, then that will show you how to set up your settings for a single player run. Okay, so after the center map, we've also got two other expansions that were Ragnarok. Now Ragnarok has some of the content from Scorched Earth and you don't need to have Scorched Earth to be playing with the dragons and the latest one to come up is Volgarero which is where we're going to be just doing our basic run through of what we started but both of these maps each one has an exclusive dino and um, Ragnarok had the griffin Volgarero which looks beautiful has a, a cool looking new style of raptor but I've never played on Volgarero so this is where we're going to start my guide. I'm going to spawn in on the Isles in Volgarero. It's just nighttime, but it's about to turn daytime. Now, this is the first thing you're going to have to do in Ark, is you need to punch a tree. Okay, you just need to punch a tree till you get one piece of wood. I've got a couple of trees. You see, the more we punch it, we get some fat. But we've got one piece of wood, and we need to go on the beach and get a rock. And if we go into our crafting menu up the top there, you'll see we can craft a pickaxe. And we've also got a skill point. Now, skill points, the only point you want to pump at the start is weight. So don't worry about any of the other skill points. But uh, first of all, we're just going to show you what the pickaxe does. You'll see now we can gather flint. Okay. So back to our menu. Point and weight. We are now a level two. And we can make the stone hatchet, the campfire. We can now make the stone hatchet and we'll see if we bang on the rock there, we get more rock and if you use the pick we get more flint. If we use the pick on the tree we get more thatch and if we use the hatchet on the tree we get more wood. So there are two basic, basic starting items. Again we got a level and we can now get a spear. Now it's only up to level 3 that we want to be grabbing everything. After this we want to be careful with how we spend our in points but we need all of these things. 
Next, what you want to do is you're going to be berry picking and you're going to be doing a lot. Gather loads and as you're getting berries, you get fiber. If you just note at the bottom here, we're getting cold and that means our food and things are draining quicker and it become night time, that might become an ice cube and we will end up losing health. So let's just get some clothes on or at least the trousers and, and the shirt. Just for crafting all of these things at once, we've got another point. So again, we're going to put it into weight. We can now learn the rest of the cloth items. And from here on in, we need to be careful with the, the points that we're going to be spending there. Keep getting the fiber. It's these narco berries that we want to be saving. Okay, so we've been berry picking for a while, gathering food here. And uh, we're going to just craft up a few storage crates. I'm not going to bother building any sort of base to do this leveling guide at all. And uh, we've got some way of just shedding some of the weight. And look, all that berry picking, we've done loads. We've just got short of 50. We need to hold on to the meadows and stuff. Okay, next points we want to spend here. We get a mortar and pestle and the narcotic and one thatch foundation. Don't need to be building anything else. Put the thatch foundation down and we can put our mortar pestle down. Now, a lot of people can quit this game quick because of... Um, it, gathering the berries it just it's a completely different game in the beginning but um, just just hang in there it's not a berry picking simulator right in order to make narcotic we are gonna need spoiled meat now you can pull them apart like that or use your shift key or if you just hover over the stack you can also just split all so they've got about eight min minutes to spoil if they're all in a stack so once they're spoiled we'll come back okay so it's all spoiled, all that spoiled meat, and we've just been berry picking still. Berry picking simulator. So you can see how this gets tedious, but we've got all that spoiled meat, and we've just, with all the berry picking we've done, it's taken us ages. We've got 101 berries, and we can craft, as it says here, 22. That's all we're going to get, 22 out of that. Let's split some more stacks. We're going to be picking more berries. If you're on the island, you can just use dodos or whatever, but there are a couple of ways that we can go about getting hide. So we're going to show you just a few different things that you can do. Things that we don't need to hold on at the moment are seeds. We can get rid of them. Um, berries do take up weight and we won't need the stem berries yet. Some people use them to give a little bit of extra stamina, but level 10, we need to learn the bow and as it says here it's going to take 17 points we got 33 down at the bottom and if we click that it would have auto learned this slingshot at 6 and the bow at level 10 and the arrow now we could have learned the slingshot earlier but as it's a beginner's guide I think using the, the slingshot to try and tame something um, is a little bit more more advanced so just forget that wait until you get your bow on the Val Guerrero map, I found this Anki. He's a very slow dinosaur, and I haven't loaded any points into speed yet, but he's quite easy just to aggro towards me. And the only problem really here is I don't want to run into another Anki because then I'll have two on me. So I can keep my distance and take him out quite easy. Okay, once he's down, you'll see we need to use the hatchet and that gathers more hide. If you use the pick, we'll gather more meat, but we just need hide. That's our bottleneck at the minute. So we're gonna go and grab, a, grab some hide. And we've got another point. And now we've got 200 in weight. I'm gonna start going into stamina. We are now level 14. No saddles worth learning at the moment, but uh, I'll show you another way of getting meat. Okay, we can just bowler something and just stab it. Make sure we've got a couple of spare pikes, stone pikes in your inventory because when they break. Again, use your hatchet. So that was just using a bowler. Thing is to make a bowler, you need a little bit of hide. So not much, but my hatchet just broke. And if I click on the item, I was just missing a little bit of wood and um, flint there. And I was able to re repair it in my in my items without going into crafting menus, you see. There's a way of getting hide. Uh, 
We've got this Phenomi here. I'll just check. It's only a level 20. I don't want anything that's too high level. Note again, even fully clothed, we are still taking some cold here. It's not an ice cube, but it could be, so um, we're going to craft up the leather stuff. Later on, when we were able to put some points into fortitude at the bottom, that will negate that effect. Here at this point, choosing to um, put a bed down. I've chosen to use the bed instead of the sleeping bag, because bearing in mind, if I put a sleeping bag down and I die, it's a one-use item. Level 16, we can make the raft. Now, this takes quite a lot of materials, and you want to build this if you've got any less than 200 weight right next to the shore. And it takes a lot of materials, but look, we shall get um, two points for this. And if you want my, my points, just go into the single player settings, but it's only a point, half a point higher than official settings, so it's, it's quite a lot for building a raft in the beginning. We're on level 17, just opened up some stone stuff now, but we're not going to be using any of this at the moment. Um, but we've got at level 18, we can build the raptor saddle, so it's kind of a choice between the two dinosaurs that I usually tame. The first one being the trike. Uh, and I, I would recommend the first dino we tame is a herbivore, as opposed to the, uh, as opposed to the raptor. All of this wood that I've been gathering and stuff and filling up the boxes with, I'm going to start using it now. I haven't built a um, base purposely, but when you're building a raft, what you need to do is uh, get your first foundation lined up with the mast in the center as best as you can. Because it's not just aesthetics that do this, it's the, the number of um, foundations that you can fit on your raft. So just use that to line it up, eyeball it, and... From there, you know, you can go out evenly. And I'm just going to build a square raft. I'll be back when we got something together. Okay, the last thing I need to do, or the last thing I like to do, is put some ramps at the back. Because it helps get dinos on. And if you fall off your raft, it's just easier to get back on with. And uh, now that we've got them down, we can also, if we go into the options menu we can also hide the sail and there we go so we've got a raft and the reason I put some foundations on this is because we need to be putting a forge and a smithy down on this raft and having a little mobile spawning safe safe place if things go wrong we can just keep this far away enough from the shore to uh, to spawn back and this this will help and then we've got just got another level and I like to build a raft, so we can do this exact same thing on the island map. We can do this on the center map. You can do it on Ragnarok and um, and obviously on Val Guerrero. So, you know, it doesn't matter if it's PvP. But finally, we've hit level 21 and we open up the Trank Arrow. All that narcotic that we've been making, all them berries, they're about to come in handy. Now, I would have to do it all over again if I was going to tame a raptor. So, let's just keep... 10 back in the inventory and uh, we've got all these stone arrows so let's just craft all of the nar narcotics and we need to just go and find a berry hunter the best thing i can find is a parasaur ideally it's not a very high level i don't want a high level one i want a low level one i want to knock it out quite quick so i've bowled it and i'm going to fire arrows in it quite quick a lot of people say wait five seconds which is true the top is going to take five seconds I'm going to bowler it again, five arrows, so it doesn't escape, quick bowler it one more time, fire a load more arrows because it's probably going to break free of this bowler. The torpor continues to go down as it's running, so oh it's broken free, okay, so one more, right, don't waste your arrows, just follow it, just keep behind it, it should knock out, there you go, it was low enough level, it just takes a little bit of time for the torpor to catch up with the arrows. And um, we can gather our, our arrows back as we go around, but we only get them back as stone arrows, not narcotic arrows. He needs to be fed medjo berries in order to tame him. So we just, all them purple berries we've saved, shove them in his infantry, and here we go. We've got our first tame. 
we can learn the saddle as well. It was a level nine. This is another reason why we can only we can't do the stego. We could tame it, but we couldn't ride it, so it's not going to help us at this point. We've managed to get the hide together to make a parasaur saddle, and um, don't it look great? The uh, northern lights on uh, Valgarero map. I usually pump weight, but I'm just going to pump here a little bit of melee damage because melee damage helps with the gathering as well. This parasaur's got quite a bit of weight. Okay, so as you'll note, we immediately just got 12 narco berries at once there. And we're just going to do this for 5 minutes, gather some berries. And what I just did was the alternate ability was the sonar. And that tells us if there's any carnivores in the area. It kind of highlights them on the map. So this guy's a good burglar alarm really as well. But we are just going to keep on going and getting as many narco berries together again because we don't want to have to do that anymore. There we go, five minutes of doing that and I've got nearly 300, so that's three times the amount that was taken by hand and that's all that fat work I did by hand. Again, I have got some spoiled meat in my inventory ready. We just need to go and craft a load more narcotic. Now we can think about taming a carnivore and we just want a basic one because we need hide. We need that to stop being a problem. We need something to just run around this little this area here and get hide together. So we'll go and get a raptor. But um, before I do that, we we will need to build a couple of things on our raft. Okay, so on our raft uh, we need to build a forge. And since I've started playing on this map, and it's pretty much true every time I play it, by the time I'm ready to build a forge, if you haven't dropped any of your metal and you've kept hold of it, even though it might be a little bit heavy, um, sometimes you might be tempted to just drop that one piece. I'm going to start pumping uh, Fortitude myself, but pump any stat you wish. You, you build your person how you like. You might want to do speed first before you do something else. But um, I was only able to get 11 pieces there, so we put that in the forge. We need five metal ingots to make the smithy. Pretty much, we need the smithy to be able to make metal tools to stop this whole grind and um, just, just get started. So that takes five ingots and we've got just enough to make five ingots. Uh, if we, if you haven't got just enough to make five ingots, you're going to have to go and hit some big rocks, gather some more flint, make some arrows out of it until you've got enough, until you've got ten um, metal ore, and then you can make this. We can also use this as just a, a storage chest as well, you just chuck stuff in your smithy. At this point, we just head across the river here. There's some metal, quite abundant here. On the island, you have to head a little bit further out. Um, there is some metal on Herbie Island, and on my playthrough, that's where I headed first, but I headed there because I've never actually set up a base there. These gold rocks, these are metal rocks, but because we've got stone stuff, we're not getting very much metal. And here, I was just going for one raptor, but then there was two, and then I thought I could back off. Um, but the same principle here lies um, with the parasaur. And um, when I eventually get down, I'm able, um, I am able to bowler the pair of them. And like I say, the only difference is with the raptors, and I'd rather have done that one at a time. I end up being safe up there. I can bowler the pair of them, and just fire some narcotic arrows in. That's all there is to that. Again, remember, it was five seconds between, but the torpor takes a little bit of time. So there we go, we've got our raptor back on the island. We've got our metal hatchet together. We've got a little bit of basic way to get hide and leather. And um, yeah, we're in our early levels now. And as long as you don't take these guys out, or before you do take them out, if you're going to go out in the back, just make sure you've got plenty of hide ready back 
backed up safe because if they die you're gonna have to start picking berries again or going about with hide so just get a load of that together and have a little sort of storage box safe I know that um, I'm trying to cut that video down in this bit I'm just showing you here this is actually where I spawned in on the map just sort of made our way over here this is a spawning area and we just made our way across the water there and these two islands were herb herbivore islands Folgarero looks like a great map but I'm too busy with the content that I'm doing to show it off and I think I'll be on Genesis as well so Volgarero is probably going to be one I'm going to have to miss out on for the time I've just I've got too much on with the other YouTube series and stuff we're doing at the minute and um, I'm on the island map just doing a complete playthrough I'm going to be trying to take on all the bosses and try and defeat the game it's like overspin here but what a beautiful map this is uh, I really like the white cliffs I'd probably end up moving out here and uh, for some reason my draw distance is kind of spawning the grass weirdly there but nonetheless you're going to be starting if you've just got the game you're going to be starting on one of them three maps and if you haven't got any other friends and you're playing it solo I'd recommend probably going for the base map and that's the island again I've done a video on the single player settings that's quite in depth and it can be quite intimidating as well so if you want to know what my settings are that I'm running in the series that really has been explained in detail in another video this video was just showing you how to get just past that first grindy bit because so many people that I've re that have started playing this game find it very very difficult and find it not uh, not very fun when you keep dying and you just can't get these these first dinos so you are locked out purely by level at the start of it and it's not until you start adding more levels that you can open up more saddles and tame more advanced stuff you're gonna have to learn a lot about what dinos do what which dinosaurs gather which resource but your base ones that you need are gonna be one for getting hide and one for getting berries most cases I would say get the one that gives you berries first or nine that can be the parasaur there is a phenomi in there as well probably earlier than that probably about level three or four and um, they're terrible really for gathering but I do use them for fertilizer later on in the game they're quite good for that but yeah go for the parasaur or the trike I pretty much always go for the trike because the trike can help me get a little bit of basic hide as well anyway i'm james from complete games that was my arc survival of old beginners guide um, i have done more advanced tips and tricks videos so subscribe if you'd like some more hints and tips videos and i'm also doing a arc survival complete playthrough on the island map so drop by and check that out if arc's your thing until next time i'm james from complete games and we'll see you